Hey everyone, Maz here, and welcome back to another episode of This or That. Foch, yeah. you're on the hot seat today. All right. Are you up for the challenge? I am. I gotta tell you, Foch, this is the hardest challenge, in my opinion, to date. All right. I mean, even when I was choosing the cigars, I thought to myself, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference between the two. All right. As a matter of fact, I had to put a red ribbon on the foot of one of the cigars right. so I can mark to know which that cigar is, All which right. is really challenging. But to you, it's gonna be cigar number one, cigar number two. All right, so what cigars are they? Okay, so today, this is an exercise in knowing your A.J. Fernandez portfolio, okay. wow. right? Oh boy. So it's Diaz de Gloria, Brazil, uh -huh. and Bellas Artis Maduro. Okay. Right? Yeah. So it's gonna be very tricky. Yep. I'm, I hope you're up for the challenge. Yep. And I need you to just choose your weapon. All start right. with cigar number one, and then we'll get into cigar number two after that. All right, I'm gonna choose this one first since it's closer. Okay, let me take the band off for you. You got it. All right? Yep. All right, fire it up. All right. Start formulating your opinion, and we'll go from there. You got it. You're making noises over there. Yeah. What's that mean? Well, it's spicy, number one. I mean, it's AJ, bro. Yeah, I know. Right? You know what he brings to the table. I mean, I love both blends, so. Okay. So just give me a minute. No, no, no. Listen, there's no rush. I want you to get into it a little bit, formulate your opinion, maybe talk it out, tasting notes. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I do have a question for yeah. you. I think I know the answer, though. Go ahead. Of the two blends, Dias de Gloria Brazil, right. the Bellas Artis Maduro, you've smoked more of which blend? The Bellas Artis Maduro. Yeah. I remember when that cigar first came in, uh -huh. you used to smoke it like fairly regularly. Mm -hmm. I know you love both yeah. blends, but you know, it's very interesting because between the two blends, there's a difference of one thing between the two cigars. That's the binder of one of the cigars. One has San Andreas. Correct. So the Bellas Artis Maduro has a Brazilian Maduro wrapper, San Andreas binder, Nicaraguan filler, where the Dias de Gloria Brazil has a Brazilian Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan binder. Mm -hmm. So you're really gonna have to hone in on your Mexican tobacco taste. Yeah. Because that's what you're looking for. There's a variation in mm -hmm. it. It's a slight variation, but it's there. Mm -hmm. So think about it this way. You smoked more Bellas Artis back in the day. Right. The Diaz de Gloria Brazil is a fairly new blend from AJ. Mm -hmm. You smoked less of it. In my opinion, how I would attack it, would taste more familiar to me. Yeah. That's the way you have to think about it, mm -hmm. right? But it is very interesting how one tobacco leaf, you know, the binder, yeah. could change the blend. Yeah. That's why people like, when the Dias de Gloria Brazil came out, you know, people obviously, they know their stuff. They're like, you know, this, what's the difference between this and the Bellas Artis? Mm -hmm. The Bellas Artis has a box press, it has, a, you know, a Brazilian Maduro wrapper. It's Nicaraguan, it's made by AJ. What's the difference? Like, the binder's different. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, how much does the binder really matter? I'm like, it matters a lot. Well, the the good thing is, I recently tried the Diaz de Gloria Brasilia. Right. Well, yeah, because we, it's new. It is. It is. Now, how many have you had of that? A few. A few. A few. Okay. Definitely so, not more than the, the Bellas Artists. Okay. So, so we'll see. So with that said, mm -hmm. cigar number one, as we're calling it, what are you getting out of it? Any thoughts? Are you leaning a certain way? I mean, if you want to put it to rest right away, guess and get it over with, we'll wrap this up. We'll go home and, you know, but no pressure. Well, I'm not going to guess right away. Nah. Um, I mean, if you want me to, I <laughs> no, will. No, 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 no. I was just, but, you know, I'm just messing with you. I mean, I love them both. Does that help you taste better? I'm just curious. Does that really help you taste better or are you just doing that for effect? Is it for the camera? Maybe. No, it is. <laughs> it, um, is it is for the camera or is it, like, does that help you taste better? I'm just curious. Because no. if you did that and I came to the store, no, I, I would be fr afraid. No, and I... That makes me taste better. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were doing different. Yeah, I was doing yeah. it. No. Um, so what are you tasting? I get almost that hickory note that we talk about a lot. We don't always taste it. I mean, I personally No, no, don't. we don't. But we've talked about it before yeah. this channel. I'm going to light that one up soon. Don't worry. I'll, have you already formulated an opinion? No, I haven't. But I'm okay. going to, you, you know. You seem a little cocky. You're like, well, maybe. Oh. I'll tell you um, what. If you nail this, like, 
I'd be like super mm -hmm. impressed. Mm -hmm. This is one that I would say for people out there, if they're gonna try to play along at home and their friends challenge them to this or that, mm -hmm. this is a challenge that is gonna be expert level stuff. Mm -hmm. This is not for this is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough exercise. I dude, when I picked it, I wanted it to be hard. Yeah, you were right. Well yeah. no, I, l l but yeah. I think I could do it. All right, so hickory, you get a little hickory out of it, which is unique. Yeah, definitely dark chocolate. Okay. Well, how about strength level? Where do you put it? No, this is full. Yeah? Yeah, this is full. All yeah. right. A lot of spice to the nose. And obviously, you like it? Yeah, I do. I do. I, it's something I, I know you like both blends. Yeah, I definitely smoke it again. Okay. Yeah. Now, I think what I'm going to do is, I know you said not to do this, but I'm going to light the other one up. Well, what I did say in previous episodes... And I might go back and forth. Yeah, and I, that's okay. I, and as I said in, in a previous episode, you can do that. And it, I've done it before, and I've you know actually worked on blends, worked on prototypes. Mm -hmm. I've actually gone back and forth. I just figure sometimes it might be better to like, get into a sweet spot of wine. Yeah. Maybe get some water, cleanse the palate, mm -hmm. go with square number two. Yeah. Because when you go back and forth, sometimes you have a tendency to taste remnants of the other one. Right. I mean, you're talking about the difference is one leaf, yeah. which is the binder mm -hmm. from a different country. It might confuse your palate. But listen. Well, listen, I'll drink water in between. But you can do whatever you want. Yeah. This is your game or this I, or that. I know. I'm gonna, I'll drink I mean, water everyone attacks it differently. And even for people out there who want to play along at home. When you're home, if you want to jump back and forth between the blends, do it. If that's the way your palate works, everyone's different. And I've done both in the past. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna light the other one. Okay. I'm gonna have some water. Okay. And you can light up the other By one. By the way, you want a little sip of your bourbon? There? Yeah, I'm gonna drink that too, yeah. That's good. I'll have a sip really, of that. Really confuse your palate, I love it. All right. You Let's, ready for cigar number two? I'm ready for cigar number two. All right, well, here, I'll hold it up for you. Why don't you get it cut? All right. So, mm -hmm. you're just getting into cigar number two. Mm -hmm. Any opinion yet? I mean, as far as... Yeah, I mean, it's not as strong as the first one. Okay. All right? And I'm not getting that that hickory mesquite note that I'm getting from the first one. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to see where your head's at. Just trying to see where your head's at. You know, it's funny. Even though it's one leaf difference, mm -hmm. people out there might ask, you know, what is the difference? And I have to say, I've been privy to it. I've been to Nicaragua, I've been to my father factory, and we're working on a prototype for Ashton. Mm -hmm. And as we're working on prototypes, they'll take the samples away and be like, that was really, really good, of course, but like, you know, what else? And they'll come back with a cigar, and then you try it, mm -hmm. smoke it, you're like, this is it. You know what the difference is? A lot one of One leaf. One leaf. Yeah. One leaf. And Jaime will say to, to us, and Pepin will say to us, you know what we changed? one leaf. Mm -hmm. That changes everything. So although this is extremely challenging, and as I said, if you posed it to me, I don't know if I'd get it. Mm -hmm. But the difference is that Mexican binder. I mean, I think I know the difference. I, I mean, I think I know the cigar. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oh. And I hope I'm right. I hope you're honestly, I'm pulling for you. Yeah. You know, it's not me versus you per se. No, no, I this got or, you. This, this or that, it's it's different. Like, guess the cigar we're together. Right. Right? Long Ash, Mortal Enemies. Yeah. This is, <laughs> we're kind of like Switzerland. We're kind of like neutral. I'm neutral right now, right? right. Is, that, is that a good way of looking at it? I mean, I definitely get both. I definitely get earthiness out of both. Mm. Um, but I'm getting like a sweetness out of this one. A sweet, sweeter spice, roasted espresso. Mm. All good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I know you like both blends a lot. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you had to say, mm -hmm. which one do you like better? That's tough. I know. What? I mean, I don't That's know if there's, stuff. I don't know if there, if I like one over the other. Um, and you don't have to, honestly. I, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. I think if I want something heavier, which I like, I would smoke that one. Okay. Over this. Okay. But this is definitely medium to full yeah i would say yeah i mean yeah you know I, not giving away which one is which yet yeah and if i'm not mistaken we we did a review of the ds de gloria brazil together okay these guys would know better than i did yeah me too 
Okay. I don't remember what I ate yesterday, so. Well, I hear you. But when we did that, we talked about what was stronger. And we we discussed the Bell's Artist because we said it's so close as far as profile. Did you say the Bell's Artist was stronger? I'm not saying anything right now. No, no, no. I'm in neutral. that video. I know what you're talking about. Again, I'm neutral. I'm Switzerland. I'm not saying anything to help you. Yeah. But I know what I said. But I think you disagreed with me at the time. I think I did. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, with all that said, it's interesting. That's why I asked you mm -hmm. what you think is stronger, yeah. or what you like better. Um, yeah, number one. But I remember what I said. Number one's definitely stronger. Okay, so number and one. If I'm not mistaken, I remember what you said. You do? Yeah. So you're going to cheat now? No, I'm not cheating. I told you which one is stronger. That one's stronger, which means that one. You remember what I said, though? I think so. But you're not drawing your own conclusions. No, though. I am. Uh, I, I drew my conclusion already. You did? Yeah. Yeah. You want to guess? I mean, I, hopefully I'm right, but... Okay. So, all right, then let's that's go. That's the Dias de Gloria, and this is the Bellis Artis. I mean, you, you want me to smoke more, or do you want you want to tell me if I'm right or wrong? Yet? Well, you, you just threw it out there. You just got a brazen, and you said well, you, you knew what it was. Well, I got brazen, and hopefully I'm right. Unfortunately, you're wrong. This is the Bellas Arthas. Right. That's the Dias de Gloria. So then you did say, so you were right. So when I, we smoked the Dias de Gloria Brazil together yeah. in, in, in a review, I said that the Bellas Arthas was short. You did say that. Yep, you did. So see, there you go. I didn't, I didn't cheat. No, and listen, I have to say, I give you credit because it's really, really tough. Yeah. And I definitely think if you would have posed the same this or that to me, you would have got it. I don't know about that. No, you would have. No, I don't well, know. Well, because you said that the Bell Sardis was stronger, which I didn't think it was. But, well, this is good. I mean, this is great. Because the people out there, when they watch the Dias de Gloria, we talk about that. I'm not saying because I'm right. I'm just talking about like how there's variation between the blends. Yeah. That yeah. proves it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a, you know, a lesson to be learned. Yeah. Like how different they are. Even though like aesthetically they look the same, they're from the same factory. Mm -hmm. There's definitely different characteristics to the blend. Yeah. Which is like, that's, that's the beauty of like cigar making. And mm -hmm. that's why AJ and, and his people deserve a ton of credit. Because, you know, you come up with a, a, a product, a new line, and you use the same wrapper variety. And a lot of people want to lump it together. But they're definitely different cigars. But it really challenges you to decipher when you're, especially when you're, you're doing this or that. Yeah. But some people might smoke the Bellas Artis, and that might be their favorite. Some people might smoke the Dias de Gloria Brazil. They're in the same kind of zip code, mm -hmm. right? But they're not on the same block. Yeah. And that's a big difference, being on the same block. Yep. And everyone will choose what they like better, depending on what the flavor notes they get from it. Yep. But it just goes to show you that they are two very different cigars. There's a nuance to the blending style of AJ, mm -hmm. and they stand alone from a flavor perspective. Yeah. It really goes to show you the differences between that Nicaraguan tobacco and that Mexican tobacco in yeah, the binder. That binder, that you know, introduction yep. of a different country into the binder makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. That's what sets it apart. As I said, very different cigars. The way they hit the palate, as you experienced just now, even though you got them flip-flopped, they hit the palate in a different way. Yeah. For sure. And that one definitely, to me now, is a stronger one. I mean, I'm with you. Yeah. That's what I thought all along. And I disagree with you last time. That's okay. I know. Listen, you don't know it till you do it back to back. Mm -hmm. And recall is, is is odd sometimes. But in my mind, when we smoked that, like I was like, all right, it's 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 got a body. It's definitely different, for sure. But we were talking about like the similarities of Brazilian rapper mm -hmm. and both being box press. And I was like, with the Bell's artist, it reminds me of, but the Bell's artist is stronger and it hits the palate differently. Mm -hmm. But anyway, listen, next time, there's always next time. There's going to be many more episodes of this or that next and time. And you're positive. I'm positive. I had the red ring at the bottom of it. I'm All telling right. you, that's how challenging it was. I had to actually mark it because right. I didn't want to confuse it in my mind. So, so next time it's my turn. Yeah. You got to come out. You have to formulate what you're thinking about, like what you want to get me with. Because mm -hmm. I, I really, I want you to challenge me. I want you to try to trip me up. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Still till next time. Well, good job. Listen, great you job. You screwed me, but no, thank you. I, know. I didn't mean to. I just, you asked for a challenge. I gave you a challenge. Yeah, you did. I when did. I told, when I told you earlier, this is one's going to be really tough. What'd you say to me? I don't remember. You said, bring it on. Yeah. That's what you said. So I brought it. You did. All right. Well, listen, I want to thank you all for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of This or That. But before we depart, 
make sure you hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button. And, and we'll, we'll see you here next time. I can't believe you got me again. Ah, it's tough. That was a tough one.